from Laura Vitale. I have the honor and the privilege of having the iconic man himself. You all know him and love him as Uncle Tony. He is my real Uncle Tony. He is all the way from Italy here, and we had to do a video for you because we had to. And the recipe he decided to share with you is a carbonara, which is classic, it's beautiful, it's delicious. He's been here about a week. He's been killing the game, right? Yes. People love Uncle Tony. If you don't follow Uncle Tony on Instagram, I will put his link down below. You must. There's lots of fun videos. You, he, like an entertainer himself, okay? He's a man, the myth, the legend. He is here. So, how are you okay. like America so far? America is very nice. Well, you I lived in America. That. I know. I lived a long time ago. America gets much better. Mm -hmm. People, I love American people. They're, he's, they're he's nice. They're it. nice. I love. I love here. I live in Italy, but I love America too. It's my second country. Yeah, we can say that. We, it's true. I mean, <laughs> so, he, live, he did know, live in America. I always for many talk years. about America. I always talk about you. Yes. My um, my brother Saul. Yes, which we had all intention on doing a live together, but just time wise and schedule wise, just did not work. But having said all that. We're just going to get started. I'm okay. just going to be a bystander and you explain as you okay. go. Okay. First thing we do, we just cut a little bit. This nice. Okay. This is? Cos'è? This is uh, guanciale, si chiama. Guanciale. Guanciale. If you don't have guanciale, because you... it is a little bit difficult to find in most supermarkets, you can use, use a fatty piece of pancetta. Pancetta, right. Um, right. Because guanciale is a bit difficult to use. However, make sure that your pancetta is not lean because the fat around the guanciale and around your pancetta, if that is what you're using, is a very key pivotal part of this particular recipe. Um, I want to note that he is doing enough for just one portion. One portion. Because I think when it comes to things like this, it's really important that you demonstrate the best quality you can. And I think when it comes to like a uh, carbonara oh, or we risotto. Make, we're going to make the original one. Yes. That's why. That's why. But we can use pancetta too, it's good too. It's good too. Yes. Um, I should also know that Uncle Tony owns many restaurants, lives in Italy, has owned restaurants for, um, Carell, has I owned restaurants for years. So he's very used to a commercial kitchen. He, like, you know what I mean? Like a big flames, big kitchens, you know? So he's not very used to my setup. However, it's good. We, we don't put up. More oil because pancetta, I mean, the guanciale is greasy, so we don't need to put up more oil in, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you are cooking with a fat like bacon, pancetta, guanciale, it's always good to start with a cold pan because as your fat heats, it You're will right. melt. If you put your guanciale into a hot pan, you don't let all that fat render. I hope that makes sense. Like if you Allow the guanciale to just warm up with the pan. It'll release all its beautiful fat. You can put the pasta already. By the time pasta cook, stuff is going to get ready, okay? Salted water. Yes, it's already salted. All right. Yes, yes, move this out of your way. Okay. Okay. Now what do we do? We get two eggs. You only use uh, the yolk? Uh, yes, I only use the yellow one. What's it called? Yolk. Yolk. Yes. Only use the yolk. This is a nice job for uh, our fresh eggs too. Yep. You know? Okay, he's gonna grate lots of parmigiano. Traditionally, you would use pecorino. Yep. However, A, we didn't buy any. <laughs> B, it's not my favorite in terms of like assertiveness. It's very, very assertive and it is definitely traditional. But you can use parm if you want to. And it should look like a cream if you want. Do you yeah. need a cracked pepper in there? A little bit. How much? A little bit. Now, go ahead. Okay, it's good for now. It's good for now. Okay, we remember this is a small of portion. Pasta. That looks nice. Your guanciale is smelling very nice. Yep. Yeah. You gotta make it nice and crispy now. Mmm. Okay. Can I put this out of it? Okay. More crispy, more crispy. Yeah, you're right. More crispy, more better. I like it. You can tell he works in the kit. Like he just has like a dance when he cooks. Um, ah. 
when he I was, love it. That's why I did. When he was cooking, when he was making pizzas outside, he was making the pizzas. He was prepping his ingredients. He was checking in the on the oven. He was, and I'm like, this is like a well rehearsed tango or something. It's literally like a well rehearsed dance. Um, we take a little bit out, because I'll show you later what I'll do with this one, okay? Remember, it's a small, it's one portion, so it's not like you're making all of this okay, for four people. Okay, now what do we do? We do this. Okay, cut it off. Okay, we do it like this. Now you leave it? Yes, wait until the pasta get done. Okay. Get ready. All right, so this has been turned off, which is very, very important. The, you need to make sure it's not on, on the heat anymore because you need to take the hot pasta directly to the pan and the heat of the pasta is going to be what cooks your sauce. And basically, it's just a, it's an emulsification because you don't want to actually cook the eggs because if you cook the eggs, you scramble the eggs and that's not what you want when it comes no. to a carbonara. You want... They kill us. <laughs> it will kill us. You want a very luxurious, creamy, beautifully emulsified, like when I showed you how to make cashew pepe, remember it was creamy and it was beautiful and it didn't have any scrambleness anywhere. Not that it would scramble because I didn't use eggs, but you need to use the proper amount of heat. So now you're going to just work really, really quickly. Yep. I can't see. Do me a favor, use this to mix really good. Don't scratch okay. my pan. You gotta work really fast, very, very fast, because you do not want to scramble your pasta. That looks beautiful. Look at that. This a little bit. Complete perfection. Complete perfection. A little bit of this. A little bit of the starchy water, yep. and you work quickly. Yep. And look at the cream. You see, it's like. See, look, I'll look show at that. you the cream. Look, that's the way it's to be. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. A round of applause. Round of applause. You need to plate so I can eat. <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm very excited. Should your pasta look like scrambled eggs, you've taken it a bit too far and maybe you can pass it off as like a, a breakfast pasta. I'm not sure what to tell you, but this is what you want to see. That is beautiful. He also cannot get over the fact that I don't have a big, like, what's it called? Like the big, I don't know what it's called. Like the big, um, I don't know what it's called. The big fork, I guess. Wow, not a bit of scramble on it. Not a bit. Not a bit. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not done yet. Look. The last one. No. Oh my goodness. Oh Here. My God. You and I will taste test. That. Taste. I'm going to eat them all. No taste. I, I'm going to go for a taste. Me too. <laughs> okay, you go for a taste. I go for a taste. And we taste together. Okay. Ready? I'm so excited. Oh Hold on, God. let me get some, some of that guanciale. You ready? Uh huh. Mmm. The guanciale is so good. That is. I think crispy. That is phenomenal, phenomenal oh times. I don't even know how many. That is delicious. Okay, Joe. Mmm. I'll save you some, okay? Maybe. Good. That is like, that is, I think, the best you'll ever have. It's better than what I had in Rome. It's creamy, right. it's luxurious, it's soft. It's very soft. It is. Like, it's Look not like thick and like, this um, is good. like glue. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, a volte quando do a qualche parte, come la colla. I told you, you have to take it off, take it off the, uh, the heat. Mm. Some people, they don't. So, what happens, the egg gets cooked. Mm hmm. But it's not the way it should be. No. That is perfect. Go to laurathekitchen.com. I will have the written recipe for you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We will see you next time. See you next time.
Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Questa mangiata è salata, meno male, no? Mm -hmm.